Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I go by the name Ted Ted Tay and I give you information on Erasmus Mundus scholarship, scholarships in the UK and then beyond. If this is the first time you are watching any video on this channel, I'm glad you are here on this channel. You will definitely find a video worth watching. Kindly hit on the subscription button for me and then the post notifications so that as and when I release a new video, you would be the first to be notified of. Today, we would be delving into EMGS, which stands for European Master in Global Studies, okay? So it's a two-year program that combines innovation, interdisciplinarity, and academic excellence with transnational and transregional academic mobility, okay? So as a student of this joint program, you get to take courses at two participating European universities for one academic year each, and then you may choose to spend the third term at a non-European partner university instead of the european destination okay if you want to know more about the european master in global studies don't worry i am going to be putting all the relevant links in the description so that you can have access to all this information yourself also i'm going to be putting the direct application link in the description as well so that you can apply directly to the program without any stress okay so you can read more about the european master in global studies from this page so now let's look at the admission and selection criteria for pen master in global studies first and foremost applicants should meet the following requirements a three-year bachelor's degree or the recognized equivalent from an accredited institution in the humanities or social sciences with a minimum of 15 percent global studies relevant courses example courses in the field of history area studies economics cultural studies sociology political science and human geography you are very welcome to apply so if you study any of these courses even including social work so far as there's a 15 percent global studies relevant courses component in the courses that you studied you are applicable to apply also you must have excellent english skills proficiency in english needs to be proven with an official english certificate as listed below under application documents so we will be looking at the application documents so that we delve deeper into the english language speaking skills okay also you have to note that native english speakers must provide proof of knowledge of a language other than english at the a2 level according to the common european framework of reference for languages okay so you also need knowledge of another foreign language at the a2 level according to the common european framework of reference for languages to be proven by a high school certificate or an internationally recognized test score certificate or equivalent proof of participation in language courses what this basically implies is that even if you speak English, you need to have knowledge of another language at the A2 level, okay, to be eligible for admission onto this program, okay? So the next thing that you need is the recognition of the respective documents and degrees is based on the requirements set by the German Central Office for Foreign Education in some countries. Another year of study in a master's program might be necessary in order to be eligible for admission mission okay now let's look at the selection criteria the decision on admission is made by the emgs study purposes and selection committee and are based on the following criteria okay so 50 percent that is academic excellence and quality recognition of home institution that has awarded the first degree 15 percent is going to be on your motivation and academic potential 20 percent on the compatibility of previous degree with the em GS program and then 15 percent is going to be work experience stroke professional qualifications so bear the selection criteria in mind your academic excellence weighs a lot that is the first thing that they look at before they look at your motivation and then your potential your motivation and then your academic potential and then the compatibility of the course that you studied with the emgs program and also your work experience comes in so i wouldn't want to waste my time let's go straight to the documents that you would need to be eligible for 
for this program okay so how to apply we would be looking at the application portal in a GFI, but then let's look at the documents that you will need okay so the application deadline for students applying for the erasmus mundo scholarship is 15th march 2024 so you have the whole of february and then two weeks in march to finish your application so just bear that in mind and then if you go to videos on my channel you would know the mistakes that i have to avoid when applying for erasmus mundo scholarship i'm going to put that link in the description so that you avoid those mistakes when you are putting in your application okay so let's look at the documents that you would need to be able to apply for this master's program yeah the first thing that you need is a CV in English, and that is one to three pages. And you should consider using the UPass CV as a template. Don't worry, the link is going to be in my description on how to create a UPass CV. You can just watch that video and create your UPass CV in a few minutes. The next thing that you need is your motivation letter, okay? So the letter should explain why you are interested in this particular master's program in one or two pages in case you have a preference for your mobility track please specify this in the motivation letter and why and why you would like to study at the respective universities okay so once you read about the course it should also inform why you want to study the particular mobility track and include that in your motivation letter also a link on the motivation letter is going to be in the description so that you can know how you can write your motivation letter proof of nationality that is the copy of your passport you just need to scan um, the page where you have your um, photograph and then your personal details you have to scan them and that is your proof of nationality you also need a proof of residence and with the proof of residence i also have a video on how you can generate or get your proof of residence i'm going to put um the link in the description so that you can have access to a sample of how the proof of residence should look like the next thing that you need is your high school diploma and when you say high school diploma this means your wasi certificate or your ssc certificate so you need your ssc certificate or your wasi certificate also you need your high school transcript that means you need a transcript from your senior high school that states your course and then the grades that you obtain also you need your university diploma that is your university degree certificate okay so once you have completed university you also need your university degree certificate and also your university degree transcript okay so you need your high school transcript and certificate and also your university transcript and certificate so bear that in mind and then the um the next thing that you need that is the english language test okay so applicants whose native language is not english must provide test scores for one of the following standardized english proficiency test okay so it could be TOEFL, it could be ielts cambridge c2 proficiency or cambridge c1 advanced okay so this is an important place that i need you to note applicants who have studied for more than one year at or received a degree from a university at which english was the language of instruction are not requested to take one of the previously mentioned proficiency tests an official certificate from the applicant's university is required to confirm that english was the language of instruction okay so you just need an english proficiency letter from your university to prove that you were taught in english and that english was the language of instruction when you were in the university okay so we have covered the english language test requirement okay so now let's look at the proof of knowledge of another foreign language so to be eligible or for you to be able to apply for this program you need to have knowledge of another foreign language apart from your native language so coming from ghana or nigeria english is your native language and you need an english proficiency letter to prove that your university taught you in english once that is done you also need proof of another foreign language so if you speak french or german or any other language you need to prove that you can speak a second language before you can apply for this program because if you do not have this document i don't think your application is going to be processed okay so let's read uh, what is stated here so english native speakers need to provide proof of knowledge of a first and a second language other than their mother tongue at the A2 level according to the common European framework of reference for languages. 
okay so you need to prove that you can speak a foreign language yeah all you need for this program is one recommendation letter by an academic teacher okay so in an event that a hard copy is requested this letter should be sent in a separate closed envelope whether electronic or sent as hard copy the recommendation letter must be signed by the person recommending the candidate and include the reference name and email address it should be typed on an official letterhead or feature the reference the reference institutional stamp okay so your recommendation letter must have the details of the person who is writing the reference for you as well as their email address and it should also be on a letterhead and it must also be stamped okay so just bear that in mind once you have the hard copy you just scan it and then you upload it um, as a pdf document okay the last thing is that if it's applicable to you proof of any extracurricular activities and work experiences okay that is copies of employment certificates so if you have any extracurricular activities and um, certificate you can upload that and then your work experience once you've been employed your employment certificate you can add that if you during your course of employment you did additional courses you can also add that to your application to boost your chances okay so you need all these 12 documents okay so your cv your motivation letter your proof of nationality proof of residence your high school diploma and transcript your university diploma and transcript then your English test scores that's that is the English proficiency letter and then the proof of um knowledge of another foreign language then you need one recommendation letter and then you need proof of extracurricular activities and then work experience okay that is if applicable so just bear that in mind please note that not submitting all requested documents by the application deadline might result in a lower score during the selection procedure and thus lead to a reduced chance to receive admission for the program and or to be nominated for an Erasmus Mundus scholarship so just bear that in mind okay so documents to be submitted after admission after you have been admitted when you are going to your host institution you need to take um, your high school diploma your high school transcript and then your university diploma and then your university transcript as well also you need to take a copy of your English language test or your English proficiency letter as well as your proof of um, knowledge of another language you should have all those documents with you when you are going to your host institution okay so just bear that in mind okay so now once you have all those documents you just go straight to the application portal okay so i will be putting the link in the description so that everything becomes easy for you to navigate so this is the application portal you just click on create user account and once you create your user account you input all your details after that you can start the application process so this is straight to the point apply for your european master in global studies okay so this is all for today stay blessed and i wish you all the best in your application i'll definitely catch you on the flip side i am out